All right, it's Friday. Finally. No agita here. Just me trying not to sweat too much. Being mad that we're in Russia again. I wonder what the math is. Crash, the whatever. The math is my average. If you take the highest score and my lowest score, it's probably got to be around maybe 17. But you use your logic of you should always get a thousand. You live on planet Earth, you should know where everything is. You live there. It's like the logic people have when uh, you take English classes. Like, why did you feel English? It's your language. You should know how to do it. One of those, either your parents were like that or you had a friend like that who's kind of smug about how well he was doing that. Because usually anybody who ever says that to is either a parent, somebody who doesn't care, well, it's my, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody who doesn't care about grades or is doing so much better than you that they just feel like being a smug asshole and rubbing your face in it. But I don't know. It's, it's like simultaneously think about this strip, strip of road, if I was to walk, the amount I've clicked here, 15 minutes of walking, I don't know. And it's, this, this is like, it's telling me where we are here. It's like, I, L, E, V, N, S, K, I, R, I, T, O, N, I don't know, M, M, C, H, S, Russia. Is this, this is like where I am, I think. It's just the problem. I don't know what the hell this is. Is this like the area code for this, for this region? I'm just going like to click here because I don't know. Hopefully I'm near it. Again, this feels like any part of Russia to me. So, got me. Like, we're going to see town name here. Uh, Senija, Senija. I forget how the X's work. Are they like ZH's? It's Kabulkovo, Kabulikovo, K A B L O O K, Kabulikovo. I think I don't know what, what Kabulikovo is. It seems small enough if this is the road you go on to get to it. Oh, Russia. Someone could have lived in these six, this this strip of seven houses and never leave here their entire life. Number one, be okay with that. Number two, be scared. Like, I don't want to go down that road. I'll have people do it for me. Get mad that buses are coming into town or this Google um, cars going through. See these two people here just sitting down on a chair, probably just staring at the chickens. It's just how they relax like i don't know if they find it entertaining or if it's the world they grew up in that's all they know and they're just like as much as people go home and watch tv they're like i'm gonna go outside and look at chickens i mean if the end result is the same just a form of entertainment and you're fine with it is there really a difference but if you were like swap places like take the chicken guy have him and watch some tv I'm going to take the TV person to watch the chickens. Well, in the bet, the uh, person swapped watching TV probably would have a better time. Like, you can, you can go forward. You can't go back. You can say that you, like, I'm tired of all the shit that happens. I'm ready for a, a change of scenery. Nothing rustic, you know. Maybe some... Oop, maybe this truck will tell me something. Oh, we'll never know. Uh, what were we near? How far do I have to click in to find whatever that town was called? I don't know. And no stars again. Nothing's getting stars, remember. Is this just straight up Russia? Russia Day? I think this is straight up Russia Day. I got to try a little bit more with this truck. I'm not going to see it. 90% sure this is Russia. Although, nope, yep, because you got the bus thing here and the sign. We're going to get some Cyrillic right now. 
Well, the last one we had a lot of Brazilian guesses, and I guess two Russian ones in a row here. Why not? I mean, I, I've said all I can. I've said this about how much I can say all I can about this. So, I mean, we, we get it at this point. We know what Russia is. I doubt, like, I'm not going to see a highway marker anywhere here. I'm just going to click down the road for that 0.01% chance. I either see a sign I recognize, a highway marker, anything. Like, if this happens to have some... Uh, Japanese on it somewhere, and Japanese Chinese on it. Maybe I'll like swing a little bit more to the uh, to the east, but until then, uh, we're staying this side of Moscow or the Earls, I believe. Paneuropa.com. All right, so you at least no, that's straight up Russian. Okay, you at least have Paneuropa, which makes me feel like we're on the European side of the country. I don't know. Like, I don't know really any Russians. Like, I, I worked with one. I've worked with two. But is it real common for, like, your family to be on one side of the country? Like, okay, we live in St. Petersburg all the way up here. But, you know, I have uncles that live out in, like, Irtusk or, uh, what's, what's the name of that one? Vladivostok. And you're like, I drive there. How long of a drive is that? Is that, like, I think driving across the U.S. is, what, 36, 37 hours? I, I don't know exactly. I can't imagine, like, say this guy, he's driving that trip. Number one, to have the confidence to think that your car, even regardless of how it is when you first uh, start your drive, to last that long and not be worried when, uh, okay, say this is like a 3,000 mile stripper road and maybe there's a gas uh station somewhere along the line is it like a government mandate regardless of how inhospitable say like okay yeah these are towns here but is, is how many of these have like um gas station i'm sure like they'll have a sign saying last gas station for x amount and then like mathematically there's no way you can make it like skip that one and get to the next gas station. Oh, they're like, okay, we realize that our country spans like ha a third of the the globe. All right, P I S H C A S H N O O R P I S H N U R C H I C H I S T O L C H I S T O P O L Ugh. It's it's slowly going away. This almost feels more north. Like I mean, how do I don't know? I'm just gonna click up here. Maybe click here. No, I'll just split the difference. We're north of Moscow. I don't know. Like there's more thought put to this than just being like, okay, a million people. Okay, here we. How far away am I? Oh, it is midway across the country. Whatever. Oh, this doesn't look like Russia, at least. Let's see what this truck... That's a big windmill, though. Lots of windmills. I work by one that's... I want to say a little taller, and the blades are a lot shorter. And even when it goes slow, I always feel like, how awesome would it be to, like, just tie a rope to the end of one of it and go on, like, a, a ride? Because that would be crazy. The amount of energy... Like, it can go be going pretty slow. You're going to go flying on that thing, because there's a lot of... Uh power moving those things like yeah it's the wind but if it's strong enough to move those you you're of little consequence when it comes to stopping or moving those things you might eventually get it out of whack if you get enough people on one end to you know throw the weight distribution around but i think it would be a fun ride and one of the worst i get like implementations and we all know what's going to happen is uh, that one photo of those, it's like two or three guys on top of like a huge, massive wind turbine, and the whole thing's on fire, and there's like zero chance of them actually getting off. So they're just sitting up on top, helicopters watching them, like they know, everyone knows that. Road 8, what is this, town of Kingsville? Is this Texas? This potentially could be a Texas. 
Um, but Texas usually has more, uh, this is Midwest, I think. And it's one of those things where it's really dangerous, but honestly, you don't think about it until you see an example like that. Like, yeah, it's wind turbines. You don't really think of it. It's wind. You, you deal with it maybe once every 15 years. You're in a gusty windstorm, and you're like, oh, the wind's moving me. That's weird. It shouldn't do that. And then you see a photo of, okay, those guys are on top of a wind turbine. It's completely on fire. It's kind of a dangerous job. By going to the ocean is another thing, too. Get, you always think, like, how can people get stuck in undertows? It's water. I deal with water all the time. And then you actually get to the ocean one time, and you get into the wave, like, once or twice, and you're like, oh, I get it. How can this stupid little thing of water, like, have enough energy to pull me? No, oh, this doesn't tell me anything. This doesn't tell me anything. Well, they spelled tons the old English way. But I still don't know exactly where we are. I'm hoping one of these places will tell me something. Although, not holding up much hope here. This dumpster, no, of course they blur out the dumpster. It's WDS. I, it's not a big enough brand name dumpster company for me to uh, figure out where we are. 519. Hmm. Is that Midwest? Like, are we seeing Kansas? Is this going to turn out to be like Southeast Washington again? <laughs> North Talbot. None of this stuff tells me anything. This is just, again, nondescript USA. I'm not denigrating if you live in a place like this. I grew up in it. It's just, they're all kind of the same. I mean, yeah, you'll try to put your own spin on your own local hospitality, but it's all kind of. Essex County. Hmm. It's like giving me partial hints and ideas, but again, still nothing. I'm not seeing any flags anywhere, so I don't feel like this is Texas. So I'm just saying Midwest still, and if it turns out to be Southeast Washington, I'm going to be a bit upset. The fuck? That was here? I saw nothing. Oh, fuck me hard. Jesus. Oh, we're back to one of these. Well, there's been like two of those this week. This is the th second one. Like, we're blurring out these faces, but not these. That's your... Closer to stock, closer to hair. Uh, our face recognition technology, it just, it just makes it very difficult to kind of figure out where we are. And it does this fade to black thing every time. I need to see. Okay, yeah, this is Germany. I'm not going to know anywhere. Like, these people are okay with it. And they're like, so you're going to get your hair cut today, but are you okay with this man in a backpack with a camera on his back just walking around taking photos of everything? Are you okay with Just act natural. It's like, this isn't natural. You watch it. It's weird. There's nothing vol normal about this. I actually went to a barbershop for the first time like two weeks ago in a very long time since high school, at least just because, you know, I've got zero reason to get haircuts anymore. I feel like I got to pick a city. I'm going to say Frankfurt and I've got no real idea. So I'm just going to say Frankfurt and we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. But I went for the first time just because for the longest time I didn't ever need to go to the barber because yeah, see they're paying attention. I never needed to go to it just because I'm bald. I just shave my head in a toilet. That's very efficient too. If you haven't thought about it, you just get uh, some clippers. If you're bald or you just shave your head bald, you can just do it over a toilet. You, there's really no, nothing you can mess up because you're just going to shave it all off anyway. So you just go to town. Don't have to sweep stuff up all that much. If you can aim well and it just goes in the toilet, you flush it. I mean, granted, if you have a septic tank, that may be an issue, but living in a city, that is not a concern. What's with the techno lights in a uh, barbershop? They got quite the banging stereo, or is it a coffee maker? I'm going to bet coffee maker, although this is Europe. 
Are we going to say where we are on here? It's coiffure. That's French for haircut, I think. It's Don, Cash it's Don Cashane. Thank you very much. Hello. I don't know what Herit's light. Isn't that heart? Herit's, H-E-R-T-Z, I believe is. Oh, I can actually go outside? Nope, you teased me. This might tell me some stuff here. Nope. Uh, lost done. Click something like this is this is probably a silhouette of maybe where the this place is. Oh, this a lioness cashback point. You want a pyramid scheme in Europe? I heard all about lioness. If you if if I've got it a hundred percent wrong, believe me, the guy who was trying to sell it to me made it seem like an extreme uh pyramid scheme. And I think it was one of those things where it's like you have zero idea it, it exists, but it's massive. Like there are some European people who watch this. I mean, I don't know if they're any bigger than in Europe. I know that's where I saw most of it and where the guy was from that was trying to sell it to me. But I was just like, wow, this is when you actually like look for it, it's everywhere. And I actually think the one time I tried to dye my hair, I'm just everywhere right now. I actually had this brand. I can, it looks kind of like the type of brand I had to dye my hair red. And I don't know if it was like a coincidence or anything, but at pretty much after I dyed my hair there, it started really falling out fast. Uh, I don't know if there's an association or if it was just coincidence, but uh, if you haven't learned anything from me standing in this store, just know that uh, you can cut your hair in a toilet, and that place, Europe, seems to be riddled with pyramid schemes. But if you know anything more about it, let me know, because I don't want to speak too much out of my ass. Granted, that seems to be all I do. Is this Australia? They are driving on the Australian road side. So I think we've covered all the cliches, except the only thing we didn't have was the bug out where it gives me the previous image and I've got no way of really knowing exactly where we are. So I think this is Australia. I don't know what we're growing here, but is this really fertile land? I mean, I don't know. It's green grass here. It looks real rusty, though, like that kind of like jungle side of the road, rusty dirt. But this is uh, clearly not that. I'm just hoping to see some more signage so I can let myself know if this is Australia. So it's not Australia, it's South Africa, but I really think this is Australia. I don't know what that thing is. Is it like a rock polar out of ground thing? I don't, I don't, or is it a weird like dirt road smooth? Why did the gret trees just all of a sudden? Okay, I just seem to have clicked into it. Okay. That just threw me for a loop there. I still don't know where this is. Um, maybe I'll see some signage. I'm like 50-50 right now on South Africa and Australia here. I mean, photo quality, real good. Makes me feel like this may not be Australia, just because that seems to be where most of the awful photographs are between the two countries. Um, if I see, like, warning sign for, like, dingoes or kangaroos, no, it's just road work. What was this? Oh, we're just hanging out digging. Oh, we're making drainage pit. Drainage whatevers. Uh, maybe this sign will tell me a bit more. Okay, I really think that this is probably South Africa now. Scotty Saki a Magde and like I like I know what the hell that says. Actually that was a road sign back there. Let me click a bit. Alright, here we go. We're next to Stuart Ruggins. That almost feels like a like a kitschy homespun word for really like your balls or something. It's really uh Stuart Maruggins. Swart Truggins. So I'm going to look for R53. All right, so here we go. The 53s. i got to look for those now. I don't know what direction we're going. I see a 61, so I'm just going to head this way and see if I can't find 56. Um, 26. I'm going to go this way. 
48. I got 50 seconds. I got to click somewhere real quick. i zoom out a bit. Let me come up here. 388. Nothing. Nothing. All right. So we're going to go down this way now. It's <clears throat> if there's any. 58. 391. I'm not seeing 58. I'm trying to speed up, but there it's like... There's so much space between the roads here. It's very hard to uh, try to find it. 73. 70s. Are we like in the other side? I got 10 seconds here and I'm not, I'm not 53, 53. All right. Sven Storp, Swart Ruggins, Sven Storp. Okay. So coaster, I don't see. That was pretty close. We'll go 48,000 there, but. Other than 100% getting that wrong, completely having zero idea. I mean, it said maximum 50. Actually, you know, it said a maximum. If I was paying attention more, maximum is a really, like, Canadian way of, for the roads. A little bit of thought, again, be able to figure these things out. But uh, another week down, you made it. I made it. Um... Fuck the week. Unless you had a great week, it sucks that it's over. Or if you're going into a vacation, have fun wherever you're going. Wear that sunscreen because sunburns suck. They're never fun. And you don't like that next couple of days of just the radiating pain you can feel and just being a lobster. It's not fun. But just know that I'll still be here coming next week. Welcoming you back. Hoping you had a great weekend. Hoping I do, too. I mean, I don't know how it's going to go. Got a uh, concert to see over the weekend. I'm going to be kind of excited for that. It just means now i got to do everything pretty much tomorrow night or Saturday. But it's no concern to you. You just come back for uh, the days when they're supposed to be up, and they should be here. But for all of us here, have a good one, folks. We will see you next time.